Ito yung hand over hand nito. So, gagawin lang muna natin siya misam. So, we're gonna go for the final round of the three-point turn. Another driver. Excuse me. This is Jet. He's going to be Sam's instructor today. Jet is here to teach me how to properly drive. Okay, first thing, uh, we lock the door. Doors lock the door. locked. Okay. The next is we adjust the seat. So that's the button right foot mo yung pedal. Next is the backrest. Okay. okay. Uh, the proper adjustment of backrest, straight your uh, arm to the top of the steering wheel. If you extend your arm, your arm to the to the top to of the, the top of the wheel. steering wheel, it falls directly on your wrist. Yes. So your wrists are resting on the wheel. Wrist. Wrist is resting on the wheel. Okay. Say that ten times. Wrist, wrist is, resting is resting on, on the wheel. wheel. Wrist, wrist is resting on the wheel. I'm wrist so is bad. resting on the wheel. Well, wrist is resting on the wheel. Then, uh, we adjust the mirror. Okay? okay. So insert the key to the ignition key hole. Mixes yes. ignition. Hot and fresh and out the kitchen. Mama rolling. Okay, that's it. Then adjust the mirror. Bounce, bounce. Okay, the proper adjustment of mirror is 90% outside and 10% inside to the body of the vehicle. Wait, when do we turn I on the aircon? Yan ang mahirap sa banks na sinabi ko sa iyo dumidikit sa noo. Just like pay pay your forehead. Yeah. Pay pay my forehead. Okay? <laughs> then the last is put on seat belt. Okay. okay. Seat belt. First thing, uh, Miss Sam, Ooh. we check the lock clip of the seat belt. Okay, it's working. Okay, let's turn the engine on. This is gonna be the best aircon you've ever felt in your life. Oh okay, I identify ko muna sa iyo, Misa, may mga controls natin near the steering wheel. Sa left side ng steering wheel natin, nandiyan ang signal, switch, lever, no? By rotating the top knob of uh, signal lever, yan yung headlight switch natin. Handling of steering wheel tayo. Okay. Okay? Handling of steering wheel for straight driving is 9-3. Okay? 9-3. Nine, nine three. Three. Then, turning, meron tayong ginagamit na method. Ito yung hand over hand method. So, gagawin lang muna natin siya miss sum ng motion. The uses of brake is slow down and then full brake. Okay? Uh, pag sinabi kong half brake, it means slow down. Uh, press gradually the brake pedal until, until it's slow down. Full brake, complete stop. But, dadaan ko muna sa slow down bago tayo mag-complete stop para smooth. Okay? Then the gas to increase the speed and decrease the speed. Laban. Laban. Okay. Then, diagram on gear shifting lever and its uses. So, saan ginagamit yung neutral? Neutral, halimbawa, nasa traffic tayo, Sam, at nasa drive gear tayo. So, kung ang traffic, tumatagal siya ng 5 minutes, so, we turn the shifting gear lever to neutral position. Okay. Okay, it means no gears engage. Kahit okay. pag-press ka sa gas, walang movement na mangyayari. Now, starting and stopping procedure tayo. Okay. So, so, different cars, different positions of, yeah. the, of the brake. Yeah. Of the, the car, handbrake. The handbrake. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a handbrake, a foot brake, or a handbrake then, yeah. steering wheel yeah. type brake. Okay. Yeah. Search your steering wheel. And then... Half brake, slow down, slow down and Ah, slow down. Then, half brake, then, full stop. Then, neutral. Okay, then switch to reverse gear. Kailangan natin mag sa mirror. Okay, so we have three mirrors, no? This is super scary. Half brake, to full brake. Okay, good. Again. Okay, back to neutral again. Okay, then press the parking brake by using the left foot. Okay, so now uh, left and right turning tayo. How many A1 sessions do I need to be a race car driver? Race car driver? Yes. Okay, so How can I get to race car levels? Because this is day one. So, meron stop sign. Okay, so slowly press the brake to stop. Okay, check natin yung mga incoming, oncoming vehicles. Okay, kung safe naman, Miss Sam, 
So, execute natin yung left turning sa intersection. So, before that, uh, kailangan muna nating uh, gawin yung three-point turn. So, we're gonna go for the final round of the three-point turn. That's I, I have one more reminder. And then when you're doing your turns, uh, turn the wheel all the way until it stops before you start reducing. Yeah. We're trying to like yeah, make the gut the space. Yep, yep. Okay. Oh. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna all, go all the way. Left. Turn your steering wheel to the left. Yeah. To Full. The left. Yes. Full. Full first. Yes. And then start the left. Go. Yeah. 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 And then I need to make sure yeah. that I get all the way to the pinaka, to the nose, to the corner. When you're steering it to the right. All the way to the right. Okay, then shift to reverse gear. And then signal on to the right. Okay, turn your steering wheel to the left. Okay. And let us Okay, turn to straight. Yeah! That is totally a perfect three point turn. All right, how was that, Sam? Overall, I'm really happy and I'm feeling more confident. Generally, a better, uh, better experience as a beginner driver because the stakes are much lower and you know A1 has this nice facility that at least the ako behind that I might hit another driver. <laughs> excuse me, sorry. So yeah, there was a so, real sneeze. It's okay. So. <laughs> We're all sick now, so... Like, like for me, what's important as a driver is that you really like know the size and the length of the car. Because once you have a feel of the car that you're driving, I guess it becomes easier. Like, the instinct yeah. comes like where you're supposed to check, how you're supposed to turn, how much space you have. I think this is a perfect car for me because um, I think my own car is about this size, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's like it's... a mini SUV. Yeah. 